A historic discovery at the site of a proposed golf course in Sheboygan County. Artifacts thousands of years old. New at 6, Scott Steele shows us how the relics could impact the location's future. It's the latest salvo in what's become an epic battle for some Sheboygan County residents trying to crush Kohler Company's plans for another golf course. New ammunition for opponents, Indian artifacts, thousands of them, all over this area. The undulating waves from Lake Michigan underscore why Kohler would want to build it. It's beautiful, precisely the reason others argue against it. This has been pristine, it's been quite wonderful. Spend 10 minutes with Gene Tobin. All of this is so incredibly valuable, and it's not coming back. And you're enveloped in her love for this land. Goodness, there are rare plants there, there are rare um, butterflies. She's lived nearby for 40 years and can't imagine the congestion a golf course, beautiful or not, could bring. This is not what any of us consider an international destination. It's, it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's tranquil. I've been walking out here for 45 years. Then there's George Cocklemeyer, who feels even the remotest risk of disturbing millennia old artifacts would be insult to injury. Well, I hope he changes his mind and decides he's got enough golf courses. I mean, you got four of them here already. We don't need any more. The Kohler Company chose not to comment on camera, instead issuing this statement, which reads in part, we continue to work with state, federal, and local agencies on the project. Now, the DNR is in the process of producing an environmental impact statement, but some remain skeptical it'll do anything but delay the inevitable. In Sheboygan County, Scott Steele, today's TMJ4.